Hello and welcome to this episode on how to be a great player where we're looking at the different types of character that you could play and we're talking personality types and today we're talking about the soul. Now the soul character is in many words there for the pure enjoyment of the situation. The soul character is not a leader, is not a decision maker, is very seldom an influencer. They are there effectively for comedic relief and to shake things up a little bit. They're a very unpredictable type of character. And you can guarantee if you have a soul type character in the middle of your party, your party is going to constantly be going, oh boy, now what? So the soul is all about the beauty and the artistry of the moment. If you are a soul type character, you look at the flight of the birds and you go, their wings scribe upon the clouds, movement of flight and lightness. I wish I could fly. I jump off a cliff with some wings strapped to my back. That's an extreme example, perhaps. But the soul is about trying to find that beauty. And the beauty, as I mentioned in the very first video, which was looking at the uh, nine different types of character, the soul is about finding beauty in anything. How a person is dismembered. The shape and arc of a blade as it slices through skin. The pattern that blood sprayed across a wall after being shot with a phaser makes, if there was any. The color of the phaser versus the warp core. The soul can find beauty in almost anything. And they're also about expression. How do they fight? How do they move? How do they engage with others? It's all there. It's all in their space. How to be one with the universe and to find the harmony and the flow. To play a soul character is to really be a child again. You are free to do almost as you will, as long as you ground everything in the notion that the soul character is looking for that essence, looking for that beauty. Nothing is evil or good or chaotic. What are those concepts? Evil is not beautiful. Good is not beautiful. The act of picking a flower and giving it to a damsel is beautiful. If you are the hero and the damsel is in love with you. If you are a plant, it is a beheading of a delightful friend who was simply growing, minding his own business, and then suddenly this great big giant came along and <coughs> lopped off its head, leaving it quite dead. So it's about finding those moments and then capitalizing on them. You are going to be bringing such life to the table. The hero, the leader, is going to be trying to negotiate for more money to be given for the party as they go on this quest of ultimate good to triumph over evil. The dependable type is going to be working out how to make sure that the party stays on track. The compassionate type is going to be, uh, the conscience type, not the compassionate type, the conscience is going to be working out how to do it safely and to make sure that everyone gets home and that everyone is safe. And you are going to be wondering whether you can draw angels in the snow with your urine. You are there to make sure that the party never falls asleep without a smile on their face or without wondering just what is going on in your character's head. And what is going on in your character's head? The quest for the perfect moment. And if you can find that perfect moment, your character is going to want to stay there. That's the stubbornness of this particular character type. But it's beautiful. I want to watch the castle burn to the ground so that I can see amongst the ashes the bones of the dead and watch as the wind scatters their ashes out into the great unknown. They have become one with the world and the universe. And yes, I may perish, but isn't that part of the beautiful cycle of life? No, it isn't? Well, I could probably find something artistic to talk about in beer. The idea here of the soul character 
is that you are there to have fun. And you are there to let other players have fun. By your description of, oh, I watch as the paladin drives that mace through the burrow, the bone skull of the necromancer, and I pick up the fragments because maybe I can glue them together with veins of gold in between to create this amazing trophy to the power that is the paladin. I write a hymn or a song in honor of this paladin, and I will sing it at his funeral so that women may weep and men may stand with heavy hearts over the passing of such a stunning creature. Well, the paladin might take some comfort in that, but the rest of the players will take a huge amount of joy in you noticing their character's actions. And you can draw the spotlight to yourself as well by doing these crazy acts and by being artistic and expressing your desire to watch how vampires explode in the sun and that kind of thing. So the soul is a lot of fun to play, a lot of surface fun and quite poignant fun too. So unlike the conscience who's busy making sure everything is prepared for and everything is planned for, the soul doesn't care. The soul will survive or die and join that great big cycle of life, perhaps, and maybe there will be some beauty in that. If you're inspired to play a soul character, or if you already do play the soul character, why not share with us some of your moments of enlightenment where you have reveled at the glory of your starship as it spun out of control into the planet's surface below. It was beautiful for a moment, and then it became destruction and was beautiful still. Share that with us. We love to uh, chat about those kind of things. And uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't checked out our role-playing session, that's Bacon Battalion, 121st Division is the latest uh, series that we're now running. It's about a bunch of mutants who run around in Poland in 1938 and have and are the last remaining superheroes on planet Earth. It's quite interesting. I don't think they have a soul character, although perhaps Carla's character, Misty the Demon with a dark past, is a bit of a soul character. She certainly revels in touching people a lot. Or perhaps it's Bill who likes to lick people. Either way, if you haven't watched it, it's 45 minutes of pure entertainment. Until next time, happy playing.